Hello, good evening on this Thursday. Uh, and uh, just a reminder of who I am, I'm Melissa Wanish. I'm the founder of rubythursday.com. And I try to live code every Thursday. I'm hoping to add another day eventually, but uh, not it's not happening yet. Um, and we've been working on upgrading an old app that, oops, I had the other um, the other tab open with YouTube to get the link. Uh, so uh, here I am, and we're yes, we're upgrading Rails five from five, uh, hopefully all the way to six point one. And uh, in this uh, journey so far, we've been able to get the um, the test up and running uh, for five point two. So I thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and deploy and see how that goes. Uh, because I am also using, uh, right now I'm using you know, Capistrano. It's been around for a long time. I know that other people will use other things now, but I'm just gonna see if my uh, current integration still works and uh, we'll see how that goes. So do let me know if you can hear me um, or if you can't hear me. And uh, I'm a little earlier than nine, I've been starting more around nine, but I would really love to get this done uh, and uh, wrapped up a little bit early tonight. So we uh, will get started. Uh, as you see here, the um, I have these gems commented out. Uh, what we did uh, from the advice of a viewer was to come out everything, get just the new ra version of Rails in, and then add things one by one. So actually what you didn't see me do, uh, recap here, is I did add back in delayed job active record. It's on my to-do list to uh, to move off of delayed job, but not quite yet. Let's just get up to 6.1 and see how it goes. And because I did a little bit of testing locally and I saw that come up as an issue, and uh, so I added it back up. So everything else locally seemed to work. And so we'll see if we can deploy. I'm going to first uncomment all these lines and bundle. Oop. Just go right to here. Hopefully the font size is big enough for everyone. I know there's been a little bit of a, like some people are think it's big enough, some people not so much. So let me know if I need to increase the font size. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bundle this. Let's see if we have any issues. Uh, adding in what Capistrano needs. Uh, no, it's just some post install uh, information. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's remember these commands. Yes, do, if you are uh, logging in, do let me know that you're here and you can hear me. Um, just gonna uh, keep talking. So, all right, so let's see, it's cap. Production, deploy. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, not anything at all. Cannot load such file whenever Capistrano. Oh, okay, so I think maybe that one, interesting. Okay, here we go. Whenever. I'm trying to remember what I used whenever for. But let's add it back in. And try to spring clean as well. That's for like a cron job. Do I have a cron going on here? I don't remember. Yes, I do. Ah, okay. And this is custom job type to control delayed job. Okay, all right, so it's restarting delayed job. Okay, so this is part of what I didn't actually get to. I should probably do a little bit of a test on that um, on production because it's actually, what it's doing delayed job is sending those, uh, those PDFs to you uh, when you ask for them. 
So I want to be sure people are still getting that. So I will, um, and also a delayed job to um, like when someone joins the site um, as well. So let me, I will test that um, in real life uh, easy enough. All right, so let's bundle. No, well, that should be it. All right, get back to the top. It's easier to see. All right, let's try again. Uh, actually, I may need to go ahead and put this on master. Yeah, it's, it's not a test gem. Um, let's add it. Well, that's up there. Okay. All right. Here we go. Again, if you can hear me, go ahead and give a shout out. Uh, let me know. All right. And uh, here we go. Again, cap production. Okay. So something happened. That's good. All right. Mm -hmm. Come through here. Let's see. Not implemented error. Net SSH requires the following gems for support. Okay. This might be newer versions of Capistrano. Okay. So. I think this can be in our um, our development and test area. I could look it up though. Let's let's uh let's take a little. As I did not clean out my history here, <laughs> starting from brand new. Um, gems. Where's the home page? Okay, so it's gonna, it's all about security and SSH keys here. Uh, we have 2.6, so we're good. All right, I'll, I think it's fine in this area. And then again, another, Bcrypt security gem. I may want to. Um, did I put it in? I did not. The other one. I have a little clippy over here. Let's get uh, that one. Okay. See if it has any dependencies. I didn't see any on the home page there. Uh, it looks like a boost in revolution, Conrad says. Um, do you mean resolution? <laughs> a boost in revolution. Conrad, I don't know what that means. Let me know what that means. Um, all right, let's see. I might have, I might have uh, done something a little to make it a little bigger. If it, you mean resolution, all right. Um, yes, okay. He meant resolution. Well, good. I'm glad you can see it better. <laughs> um, all right. So we bundled that. Let's try our deploy again. No. Oh, it failed. Authentication failed. Oh, you know what? Have I never, uh, this computer maybe has never, 
um, deployed. I don't think the SSH key is on that server. Mm. So when you move to a new computer, you always have to remember to put your SSH key onto all the servers you need access to. So, um, that's a very secret thing and it is lots of places. So I'm probably gonna like <laughs> pull it down to the other screen and then do that. Um, but I can get you, oh gosh, it'd probably be easier from a different computer. Hmm. Cause I do, I actually did uh, lock SSH into this deploy uh, yesterday, actually. Um, because uh, I was looking for like a basic, basic HTML site that I had up and I couldn't remember what server it was on. So, <laughs> and then when I've tried, um, so I do know I have access from the other computer, which is all the way upstairs. So I may, I may like run away <laughs> and come back because <laughs> it's going to be easier, um, you know, to sort of share this computer's SSH key with myself, like on Dropbox or something easy enough like that. And then, um, and then put it on the server uh, by logging in there. Cause I've, I have tried to do this with um, the console, the digital ocean supplies. And I've just never had a whole lot of success copying in such a long string basically. Right. So I've, I've like, if, if push came to shove, I did it, but it was like very tedious. So, um, so I will, I actually just have to run away and come back. Um, so <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone comes, I was like, where's Melissa? I will be back. I should have like a coming back screen. Um, what if I had like a little meme I could like screen share? Why don't we, why, what, that'll be fun. Why don't I find a little meme? A little I'll be back meme. Well, I mean, obviously the Terminator, right? It's coming up. Um. <laughs> what the, who's Photoshop that? Okay. Can we get it bigger? Can I get it full screen? Oh no, you just you generate it. No, I don't want it full screen. All right, I'm just actually gonna leave up all the memes right here. So, um, oh, Conrad says, uh, DigitalOcean also not so great, um, but it worked on Linode. I haven't tried out Linode. Is that how you say it? Um, I'm still all on DigitalOcean. I may be moving everything to AWS eventually. I got some free credits, so uh, I may just have to do that. But um, all right, so here's my meme. Enjoy. Uh, go get some a beverage of your choice here. And oh, no, do that. And uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna also mute myself so that you don't hear me getting up here.
Okay, I'm back. So um, I will get rid of the meme. But um, so basically, I need, you know, for anyone catching up, I'm going to um, need to give myself access on this computer uh, there. So um, I think that makes the most sense. Um, or I could add in myself. To, no, that's too complicated. I don't know. I don't know which is more complicated to add myself in on StreamYard or just go do this like fun sharing of keys. Um, uh, just hold on. Let me think about what's going to be easier. Because I could. Um, I could invite myself. Wait. Um, just muted. <laughs> and have them join the stream and share that screen. Uh, maybe that could happen. Let's have some fun with StreamYard. All right. So I'm going to. Um, uh, forward myself. The link. To my personal email here. Then I'm going to join on StreamYard over here. Okay. Waiting for that to come in. Okay. And then I'm looking over here. I know you're not seeing too much, but I am working. Okay. I'm going to – oh. Okay. I need to mute the other computer. All right. So I'm backstage. I got to let myself. I hopefully this works. Oh, no. You have to connect their mic and cam before you can add them to the stream. Uh, okay. Um. Yes. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> you can't see me from two angles. Uh, All right, clear. Whoa, cancel. Okay, I'm gonna re. Let's see, re um, restart this. Sorry, I think it's gonna work. Entering the broadcast studio. I'm afraid you're gonna hear me like double. Um. Is that working over there? Allow. Okay. This will be fun. Here we go. Enter studio. That's me twice. Do you hear me twice? Probably. I'm going to mute this.
All right, now let's try this. Okay. All right. You just heard me once, Conrad. Oh, well, okay. Um, all right, so Mel2 is in the show. Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna stop sharing here and share here. Um, entire screen because I'll never remember what what thing I'm on. Yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> it's like double. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let me minimize the browser. Okay. <laughs> Was that fun or what? All right. Here we go. Because I had Ruby Thursday site open over here too, I think. Um, I think that's there. Okay. Let's see. Where am I? Okay. I'm over here now. Okay. So you should be seeing. Um, yeah. I think Mel2 is still showing. Good. Yes. Mel2. That's what I want. I want Mel2 um to be showing oh no just mel too not the actual screen i want to share my screen do, 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 do. we almost got this we almost got this you're in the show everyone can see and hear you mel too oh add to stream there we go. Ah, that's what I thought you would see. <laughs> the like multiple, multiple images. There we go. Fantastic. Yes, here we are. Uh, let me get poll from master. Did I have actually something on the other computer actually? Wait, wait, get status. Oh, I did. Um, uh, uh, all right, all right, so I've pushed that. I'm gonna pull again. This is like very interesting live coding like on two different machines, right? Who does that? All right, um, okay, so I've got that going. Um, I'm sure this is probably too small now. So let me let me try to. Make it a little bit bigger. Oops. No. Just a little bit bigger. Why was why isn't control plus working plus? Ooh, option plus. Ooh, that's not working. Okay. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> I have to share this. Thank you, Conrad, for sticking with me here. All right. Um, <laughs> third dimension. That's that's very cool. All right. Thank you for that. All right. Um, okay. I'm sorry if it's a little small, but we're gonna we're gonna try it over here. Um, cap production deploy. Oh, well, I should bundle. Oh, I sh uh oh, okay. See, there you go. This is fun going back and forth computers. All right, so that is RVM list. What do we got? I got Ruby 2.6.6 on here. Awesome. So use okay. Now bundle. Mm -hmm. Right, I had to do this. Um, uh, I forget why. Okay, well, I'll just type it out. Gem install. Bundler. 
and that does the newest one. So, okay. So this is installing everything on another computer. And this is why they came up with Docker. <laughs> Maybe that'll be another series here, Dockerizing my, my, uh, it's just so, it's just a little tiny app though. I would have had to pull down the image. I mean, there still would have been work to do. It is. Um, oh, is it bigger? It's actually smaller. <laughs> so the question is, um, uh, from, uh, Connor, is the screen of the Linux machine bigger? I really like it because it's taking up more of the screen. Um, it's actually s smaller, but more, um, I guess more square. It's less of a, of a wide screen. Um, and I have really been thinking about, um, instead of my like huge widescreen, going for more of a compact for the live coding. Um, and uh, my lovely husband uh, doesn't have an external monitor and so we could switch out. Um, so uh, that's an idea, uh, especially if this one is just, it's just filling up the space a little bit better. Um, all right, so let's do, did I already have it in here? Yeah. Oh, got uh, further along. May still have issues, but. So Ruby to, is not installed. Uh, it's not gonna do it for me. I thought that's what this other gem did. Maybe there's something more. Um, because I believe in my gem file, right? I have uh, Capstone RVM, which should switch it to that. But I may have to go on the server still. So, but let's look at this. So my fingers are gonna get very confused, right? Because Linux is control C to copy. Um, I'm gonna, can I open a new new window here? Something not. All right, I can see my browsing history here. Woohoo. Um, remind myself of what this gem does, but I thought it was supposed to install things on your server for you. Um, okay. Oh, interesting. If you use the, if you use this integration with Capstone Rails, please ensure that you have Capstone Bundler greater than that. Hmm. If you want solution with installer included, maybe look at a different solution. All right, let's look at this here. Type. No. How it works. Ah, okay. So this would only be, it's not, it's not going to install it for you. All right. Let's see what this is about. Uh, it's not, well, any of these are going to be pretty old, but, um, It includes the task to install in the cat file, add this. It'll automatically delete, detect RVM installation path, preferring user installation, detect Ruby from project, create the gem set if not already existing. Okay.
Ah, this will do it or add the before hook. Gotcha. So, all right. So the task will install Ruby from the project if you just run this, right? Or you could add the deploy hook. Uh, it requires no password for the user. I think that's probably there. It's doing all this stuff anyway. Um, Uh, this task places capture in a bundler. Do I have bundler? Is that? No. So that could be an option too, is to do, to look at the bundler instead. That's still young, blah, blah. I don't really want to configure anything. You could, yeah. Uh, these are all good things. I really just need it to, <laughs> um, or we could SSH onto the, uh, the other option is to SSH onto the machine, the server and, you know, run the RVM commands to, uh, install the newest version of, uh, of the version of Ruby that we want, uh, which is 2.6.6. So um, uh, looking back here, sorry, I'm looking back at the chat. Um, Conrad says he would definitely like to see an episode on con con uh, con containerizing this application using Docker. So, all right, well, We'll put it on the list because <laughs> this has been super fun. <laughs> uh, I'm being uh, sarcastic. Um, all right. So, uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, yeah. Let's uh, let's give it a try. All right. Is that to replace the, I think that replaces this one. Oops, my fingers are gonna get confused. All right. Uh, bundle. Okay. And now we should go to the cat file. Oh, control, sorry, control, okay. All right, and so we're taking that at, this out. Ah, there's the bundler. So I had the bundler. Okay, so it replaces this too. I think we, well, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'm pretty sure it replaces that. Um, okay, oops, ah, escape, escape, uh, nope. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's take two. Take two. All right. Control copy. Control V. Um, okay, let's see how that goes. I think that's all we gotta do. I like it. I like running things from the top. See if we see any output about no. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't just like automatically. Is there? Let's let's look more. Security. Oh right, right. <laughs> All this stuff. Uh, so before. 
install Ruby. Okay, so RVM is already on the machine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Um to run it before, which is let's see if I have other before hooks. Um that is in deploy, right? There, there it is. Yes. Name states deploy after. Nope. It didn't copy. Okay. Back. Control copy. There we go. I think that's what they mean. Let's get read it one more time. Mm, update our VM key. Right. So namespace app, but I have like namespace deploy. Okay. All right. Let's try again. Aha. This is what I was expecting. I believe. Mm. Right, it's RV, the RVM output. Oh. Um, hmm. Bundler. Um, how do we update Bundler before we run it? I bet there is a way to do that. Um, probably, uh, from this guy, no, oh, where's my cat file from cat bundler, right? Oh, there's a way to update bundler before running it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yep, all that. Check. Here we go. Um, bundle check. No, no, I want you to bundle check. It's just not going to update automatically. It's not very often you have to update Bundler. It's not really all that often you have to update Grant Ruby, but um, we will just run this. Didn't have like automatic things. So um, hmm? no, there we go. Woohoo. Okay. Should have output that it updates. <laughs> Just trying to see if it. The gem files dependencies are satisfied skipping installation. Oh, I want you to install Bundler. Did it not do it? Um, do, 
do, do, do. It's currently nil. Okay. Placing current local value of deployment, which is currently nil. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yes, I don't want it. I want it to update. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. Acquire. All right. Hmm. Three point five plus one. That might, we may have updated that, but I may be SSHing, and there we go. I'm just gonna um, Conrad says I remember having a similar issue where the local ex executable and the gem file lock version. Oh, wrong one. Um, were different. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, go to my production. No, that's not it. Um, they can deploy production, get my IP address. Okay. I need to do some updates. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see if that was enough. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, well. Ooh. It failed, though. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we just go back to this. And then I may need to look at updating the syntax there for, for Capistrano 3, um, 5 and above. Let's see. <laughs> No. Um. The missing version. Oh, maybe I have to do that one too. Um, right, it did it definitely has it here. All right, let's go back on. The server. Mm. Uh, okay, so now that I'm in the right Ruby, maybe we go. Does it remember? Yeah. Here we go. 
Okay. Um. Try again. Correct version of bundler now should be in um, that gem set for Ruby 2.6.6. Um, although it looks like it's failing somehow. It got further. Well, it's doing bundle install. It, this could take a minute because it's, you know, basically every gem is different. <laughs> well, oh, well, and the gem set is empty pretty much, right? So it's installing all of the new gems into 2.6.6. And we'll watch that for a minute. I'll take a whole sip of my uh, drink. Hmm. Oh, this fun thing. I remember this. Uh, could not find a JavaScript runtime for a list of available runtimes. Did I take that out and not add it back to the gem file? Was that this? Probably. Let's see if there's anything newer. Oh, can I control and it go there? Yay. Okay. Um, Do, do, why can't I use this or that? Okay. Uh, I don't think the one I have is even around anymore. Should I go look at that one? Um, it's probably not even updated anymore. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's in the same vein, but uh, it looks like this no longer listed as one. The mini racer, is that one? Oh, Conrad's suggesting uh, installing Node on the server. Uh. <laughs> that is where everybody does. Um. Uh, let's see. Um, I bet you DigitalOcean has a tutorial on this. Um. Probably not that hard. Here we go. I don't think I have that version of Ubuntu. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay. This might take a minute, but here we go. Some uh, 
I should do it anyway, right? So, oh. Okay, uh, let's see if I have that password. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> I have no idea what the password is. Um, I wonder... Okay, you guys aren't looking at this screen anymore. Uh, I wonder if I have it in my YAML. Because sometimes I would put it there just because it was, uh, I knew where to find it. So in my, in my regular secrets file. Um, did I put the server on here? No, you're not looking. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, I don't have it there. It's probably, huh? No. Huh? No. Nope. Three incorrect password attempts. Um, install it via the SSH without sudo. I don't think so. I could try app install. No JS like that. I don't think so. Oops. No, nope, wrong one. Um, permission denied. Yeah, I don't think you can install things with that without, um, I can look it up. Let's like we can try it. Let's see. Is there one that's using SSH? Let's see. Using SSH. No, deploying a Node.js. No, that's not what I mean. No, usually you have to sudo to install things on DigitalOcean. Um, okay. Conrad's doing some research for me. All right. Let me uh, show this to everybody. All right. According to the man page for AppGet, the V flag simply prints the version of AppGet, so no software will be installed. Run this instead. Oh, oh, not on the server. On a, well, not while you're on it. Okay. I'll exit. Um. Uh, can I still use deploy? I would still want to use deploy.
dash T. Add not root. I would like to try it with deploy. Install dash Y no JS. No, I'll try root. No, I don't think I have this computer set up with the SSH key for root. Uh, yes, you'd be using deploy. Uh, I didn't seem to like it. Mm -hmm. Are you root? No. Yeah, I think I didn't allow those privileges on this user. I think that's part of the, um, it was ages ago, the deployed to um, DigitalOcean digital series. Um, Uh, that did not work. Um, uh, so this is, uh, you know, a, a permissions issue. Uh, you could always, um, Reset the root password <laughs> uh, for DigitalOcean, and then come back. Or let's um, let's maybe look at um, uh, can you change the password via DigitalOcean? That's the question, right? So you can change the root password, and then I guess come into root and then change the deploy password. Um, that is uh, what we could do. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's probably, um, you need to have your pseudo password. So uh, DigitalOcean, uh, look at that guy, right? He's so funny. I've been on this page a couple of times in the last. <laughs> it's a good little uh, video here. All right, oh, I'm logged in still. Uh, so this, this is the site. Yeah, this is it. All right. Access. Reset. I wonder if you could go in through the recovery console and do it. Probably not. I don't have my password. I also don't really know how to do that. So the root password is the one we need to install package. The deploy password should be fine. Okay, so let's just reset the root password. Here it goes. And then it sends me an email. And then you reset it. I just did this yesterday. <laughs> Because I couldn't get into the the um, the droplet that had all of the you know just like little tiny HTML sites we've you know developed over the years. Um, yeah, I think that I think I had all those like written down on little pieces of paper, and now we've moved like three times. So I just reset it, and now I'm being better and putting it into a. Um, a a password manager. We use one password. So I'm doing better now. I have like, you know, three different passwords on there. So, um, all right, there we go. Um, I guess you get to see all my random emails. <laughs> 
Here you go, a little, little, uh, like, I don't know how to check my email without you guys seeing it. Um, uh, maybe I'll just uh, stop sharing for a moment here. Uh, StreamYard, you're going to, oh, stop screen. There we go. All right, so um, I'm going to go uh, check my email. You'll get to see me actually go on there, but uh, okay. All right, control, copy. And uh, minimize that again. Oh, except I have to add myself back to StreamYard. I have to share the whole screen because like I'm going back and forth. All right. Okay. Allow. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't. Uh... It didn't happen. Stop screen. I'm in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. Okay. Share. Screen. All right. Entire screen. Allow. Yes, create the root password first in one password, then copy it from there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, or at least type it in. Uh, why am I no longer sharing again? Oh. You're in the show. Okay, let's stop again. <laughs> Share screen. Let's try just one screen here if we can just get to the... Uh... This guy. Allow. Okay. Is that now showing? Ah, add to stream. Oh, there was an add to stream otherwise. You see two presenter windows. Yeah. Wait, I think I'm going to try one more time. Uh, stop. I see the, over here, I had to push another button on the other computer. Okay. So share screen. Entire screen, allow, add a stream. Okay, and inception again. Okay, so minimize that guy. Um, and then I guess just go right into, oh, deploy. Hmm. So I have my new password. Oh, oh, I think the minute I try to do that, it'll. Oh no, wait, sudo, sudo app update. Right, okay, copy that in. Ah, okay. I, okay, I think I need to do it like this. I think I need to do, um, and come in as root. Uh, using password. SSH, uh, what's the key for that? Um, Uh, 
I, I want to use with the password right now. <laughs> uh, just what's the little key? No, no, no. There's not just a slash slash p. Okay, let's try. Will it ask me? No. Ooh, okay. No. Um. Ugh. Oh, I have to go back to my email. <laughs> That's so sad. Switch to the root? Uh, maybe. Um. Here's our password. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna remove. I think all I have to do is remove. I think I just add back and forth this remove button and that's gonna help. Okay, instead of like joining and whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my email. Um, now you don't have to watch the inception over and over. Okay. All right. And um, I'm just going to see if it works before I add back. Yes. Okay. So I'll back. So it got back. I got to this point, right? So now it's changing the password for root. Yay. Okay. So copy in. All right. On the phone. Make it a new. Login, server, I will rename this later, but basically I'll just put in RT for now. I like to put in the actual IP address because I think that helps. <laughs> um, this is actually the root, so we'll do that. Um, oh, that's one, that one's nice, okay. All right, type it in. I use the um, the like common words one is usually what I do um, with a uh, character. All right. Woohoo! All right, we are in. Can we uh, sudo app up, update? Can we do that now? We can! This might take a minute. Oh no. Uh, that's all it wants to do right now. I'm not going to upgrade everything. I'm just going to uh, sudo app install. No J S. Sure. Okay, you're seeing that? Okay, good. As root, I don't need a sudo. Okay. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> oh. Am I done? Uh, I kind of forget what we were doing. All right, exit. I'm gonna exit. Cool, exit again. Now we have node. Do I have to do anything else to make sure this happens? Let's see.
Okay. Uh, missing secret key base for production environment. Hmm. So I have to rerun it. String with rails, rails credentials edit. Hmm. Um, why would that have changed? I can try re-uploading the, um, the YAML. Um, oh, sorry. I hope folks are following along. Conrad has been helping out with uh, Linux. Um, Node-V. Oh, I should have checked Node-V. Oh, my gosh, it's already 10. Um, so uh, secret key base. I'm gonna go over here, secret key base. Should be the same. I shouldn't have to redo it. But you know what I can do is um, uh, I have a gem for that, <laughs> um, which is Figaro uh, YML, right? Um, so. Yes, it's a difference key base for production. Just like, why would it have changed if it was already up there? Um, so what I have is um, a um, so this guy, this gem has a command to re-upload your application YML file that you don't put into your um, Git history since it has all your secrets if you're using Figaro, right? So this is using Figaro. You have an application YML file. Uh, you manually put it on the server. So let me manually do that. Maybe because when it, the reinstall, it just didn't happen. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to look up the command for that because I don't remember it at all. Um, <laughs> this is really old, <laughs> but it still works. Uh, cat production setup uh, puts it in there. Okay. So. Basically, it says it uploaded that. So it should be OK now. It should be the same. I guess I could re-generate that. I'm trying to remember. I'll have to go to my own, <laughs> my own PDFs and find it. Oh. Same deal. Okay. And it's the same, right? It just sort of says it over and over again. Huh. I'm looking. So I think what I'm trying to remember how we did this. Um, using, recommend using Rails 5 credentials here. Um, well, I mean, I could re, um, 
reset it on the server and then basically uh, copy it into the YAML file. I think is what I did before. Um, it's been a while. Uh, let's see. Oh, folks, I, I thank you so much, Conrad, for hanging in there, but I think I'm going to have to call it a night. <laughs> actually yawned on a live stream. That's terrible. Um, all right. So, um, I think what we're going to, yeah, I'm going to look into, uh, just adding that back. And resetting that um and yeah you know, look at the rails 5 credentials um and as opposed to figaro um uh, it may be uh it may be easier but at least i got my password reset yay um all right thank you oh, we almost got it done i feel like it's really close again <laughs> Um, so I'm going to say good night and, uh, next week, maybe actually a little later, uh, we, we have, uh, some awesome house guests coming, yay, but they do turn in a little early. Um, and, uh, so hopefully by nine, it may be more like nine 30, uh, for hopefully a short session where we just get things deployed. Um, and, uh. All right, so this has been fun uh, DevOps session today. And uh, yeah, uh, Figaro, oh, Conrad has an opinion. Uh, Figaro is create for public stuff. It's great for public stuff. Um, I had been using it for private stuff. Uh, but all right. Well, maybe that'll be the first thing we do next week is dig into that more. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I will, I will see you soon. Good night.